Hello everyone. So in my previous video I was telling you that Boom seemed to take a break from all the leaks about upcoming episode 75 and focus on the making of the actual episode instead. And it looks like Boom himself heard my complaints about it and decided to prove us all otherwise. So he posted a bunch of really cryptic pictures in his official Instagram account and today we will take a closer look at them. And I'll tell you exactly what is so important about them and what details you could easily miss on your own. So get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because it will be really interesting. Let's go! But before we'll jump into analyzing these pictures that Boom leaked in his Instagram account, let me remind you to give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I work a lot to give you as much entertaining content as possible, and I appreciate your support. Okay, so if you are subscribed now, let's continue. So Boom posted five pictures as a whole in his account. And although it might look like all of them were pretty simple at fist sight, in reality, all of them contain one hugely important detail that told me a lot about the Skibidi toilet lore. And I'll tell you everything at the end of this video, so be sure to watch it to the end so that you would understand everything completely. And the first leak depicts some unusually looking cameraman dressed in a yellow shirt with the dark purple tie. And we definitely haven't seen this guy in the series before because I would definitely remember such clothes of his. And although lots of other cameramen on these leaks look pretty tired or upset, this guy doesn't show any signs of low spirit at all. But instead of that, he looks pretty cold-blooded and ready to follow the next plan. So based on all these characteristics, I'd assume that this guy will definitely become some new elite agent of the cameramen's race. And it's also possible that we may see him in the events of some plot arc pretty soon as well. And in the second leak, we see an ordinary cameraman together with the big cameraman sitting in front of the wall inside of a building. And I'm pretty sure that this is the same building we saw the elite yellow-shirted cameraman on in the previous leak. And although this Chad was pretty calm and not bothered by anything as it seemed to me, those two guys in the second picture look really distressed by something. The ordinary cameraman is looking down as if he has no hopes for anything anymore and his weapon is lying somewhere in his legs, and he doesn't even try to take it into his arms as initially intended. But it also doesn't look like this guy is just resting, given his hopeless hands position that are covering his head camera. The guy's definitely upset by something. And also check out one important thing about the big cameraman sitting next to him. The guy is missing his left arm. And if we'll link it with the general mood of this leak, then we'll understand exactly what all of this is about. I assume that the building these guys are hiding in right now belongs to the Alliance, and it's probably one of the facilities that were nearby the Titans that were later caught in the insane Astro Toilets raid. And do you remember lots of ordinary cameramen that were running for their lives for the nearest hideaway in the end of episode 74, losing their limbs along the way? So I'm pretty sure that those cameramen from the second leak are the survivors of this terrible attack. And of course they are upset by the fact that they saw Titan cameraman's heroic passing right with their own eyes. Although I must remind you once again that we're still not completely sure that Titan Cameraman is gone forever, because usually Boom shows us a character's lifeless body when something tragic like this happens. Like it was with TV Woman that was allegedly destroyed while operating the late Skibidi Scientist's puppet by G-Man's lasers. But we haven't seen her body, so of course we couldn't know it for sure that she's gone. And in the secret scene for the full episode 73, we saw her alive and thriving, which means that we should trust the most to the phrase, I'll believe it when I see it. But of course, these two cameramen have no idea about it, and that's why they are so upset. Well, at least that's what I genuinely think. But there is also another possibility for them being in such a poor mood. But I must warn you that this theory is just crazy, and that's why I left it for the second part of this video, so watch it to the end if you don't want to miss it. Okay, and now we're moving to the third leak that Boom has posted, and it's a little bit more unserious with the comparison with the first two leaks. And it depicts the guy who looks pretty similar to the cameraman with the Call of Duty, like, hat on his head camera. Who we could see in the second secret scene in Season 24 compilation. And while I was analyzing these secret scenes, I assumed that this sassy-looking guy could have been a commander for this exact squad of cameramen that were posing and doing all sorts of weird stuff, actually. And either there are multiple commanders that love wearing such fancy hats and smoking cigars as if they don't care about anything in life, really. Or this is the same guy from that secret scene that immediately caught my attention. But something doesn't add up in that case. The commander from the secret scene wore the dark shirt with the blue tie, and his hat was also of dark blue color. And I don't mean to body shame anyone you know, but he was also pretty buffed in comparison to the guy from the third Booms leak. 
who in his turn wears a standard white shirt with the black tie and the color of his hat, seems to be also black now. And we must also keep in mind that the quality of the leak is pretty damn grainy and weirdly bad in comparison with all the other leaks that Boom presented to us. So it may be a coincidence of some sorts. Or maybe Boom made it more difficult for us to discern certain parts of this leak to keep something hidden, for example, the details on the background. It's possible that this guy is present in the same facility as the previous cameraman, but this container-like thing behind his back bothers me a lot, though. But unfortunately, I cannot tell you for sure what all this is about, as Boom intentionally lowered the quality of this picture. And now let's move on to the fourth leak that Boom posted in his Instagram account. And this one surprised me a lot because it depicts a face of an astro toilet who smiles like crazy. And the interesting thing is that he doesn't look similar to any astros I've seen before in this series, except for one guy only. Do you remember the red-eyed psycho from episode 51 that was put to rest from Titan Cameraman's POV? I had to check this one episode once again after Boom suddenly changed the description to it after episode 73 release, where it turned out that this guy was an astro troop. And by the way, I even made a separate video on that topic, so be sure to check it out if you haven't done it yet. And another detail that caught my attention is this metal disc, like thing behind his head, which looks really similar to the device that could be seen around G-Man's head on the picture picked up by the Elite TV Man in episode 74. So all that takes us to one big question. Is this guy really an astro toilet? Because in my previous videos, I voiced out a crazy idea that some Skibidi could have stolen parts of astro toilet's technology. Because one time, Skibidi Toilets and Astro Toilets worked in the cooperation, so they could share each other's technology. So what if this guy is in some sort of transformation process similar to the one that G-Man is about to undergo? This is really interesting to think about. And what are your theories on that, guys? Be sure to write them in the comments below this video, because I always like reading what my subscribers' opinion is. Okay, and now let's move to the most mysterious and cryptic leak out of all the five ones that were presented to us today. And it's just a picture of the chair. And what's also interesting about it is that it seems to me this chair was placed outside and not inside of the building, which is pretty ridiculous. So is this just a troll leak by Boom? And it's not meant to be taken way too serious? Or is there something bigger behind this picture? And to that, I have two answers. The first one is that this chair may be related to the secret agent somehow who could be seen sitting on a similar chair when he was contacting Plungerman at the end of episode 70. Or there is another point in showing us this chair, and in order to explain it to you more thoroughly, I must also address this crazy theory I have about all of these leaks as a whole. So this chair may be also a slight indication of the humans in the next episode. And considering the fact that it's highly possible for the episode 75 to be centered around cameraman agents and not Titans or G-Man, it would be really logical from Boom to reintroduce the humans once again. Do you remember the group of human survivors that was discovered by Camera Woman in the secret scene for episode 73? And there was also an infected guy among them who could have caused some sort of havoc in the Alliance's headquarters if all of them will get tracked there. But even if we'll count him out for a moment, there is some really interesting possibility to occur. What if these human survivors will get somehow transferred into the bodies of cameramen, either mentally with the usage of some sort of microchip, or physically? And that's why some cameramen on these leaks behave in such a human-like way. The guy who's hiding his head camera in the hands looks like he may be terrified of this new reality. Or what about the smoking commander cameraman from the third leak? Like why is cameraman smoking in the first place because he doesn't have a mouth or lungs? But that's just me thinking it through, so we've got to wait until episode 75 will be finally released to learn more about what's going to happen in it. And that was all for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hit the like button below and also be sure to write a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and Discord channels not to miss my new interesting videos. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!